So, you have no idea how to start cleaning up your raw mocap data. Not a problem. The first thing that I would recommend is scrubbing through the whole animation to find any frames that spaz out of control. For example, you can see here that between frames 145 and 165, the foot goes crazy. Now, there are two options for you in this situation. You can manually fix the bones on the frames that are broken, or you can delete the frames responsible. In my experience, deleting the problem is usually the fastest way to fixing it. So, that's what I'm gonna do. But, feel free to use whatever method you are most comfortable with. However you do it, just make sure that auto keen is active when you're done. Once you have removed the glitches from your source data, the only thing left to do is make your adjustments. And adjustments are usually done best with your rig instead of the source rig. So with your rig selected in pose mode, scrub the timeline till you find something you want to adjust. For our example, I'm just going to use this area where the character reaches forward. Now let's just say that I wanted the arm to be more extended and the hand open. Now a lot of beginners make the mistake of immediately going in and fixing the pose manually. But if you do that, you'll actually mess up the position and rotation data of everything you adjusted for all the frames before and after the fix. The proper way to make an adjustment without messing everything up is to keep everything to the left and right of the target area before you make your adjustment. So before I fix the arm, hand, and finger positions, I'm gonna select all the bones, go a little before, and press I to key location and rotation, go a little after, and press I again to do the same, and now we can do whatever we want to this area without messing everything up before and after. Like I said, I just want the arm to be fully extended and have the hands open around here. If you have pose libraries for stuff like the hands, this is an excellent time to use them. This way you don't have to waste your time doing each finger manually one by one. Awesome, that took like what, 20 seconds? And it already looks five times better than what it used to. Do that for any area that you want to adjust and you're done. That's it. So basically, delete the bad data on the original rig and make all the adjustments on your rig instead. And don't forget to use your pose libraries to save time. Anyway, hope that helps. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.